Today's episode is brought to you by Progressive, where drivers who save by switching save nearly $750 on average. Quote now at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. National average 12-month savings of $744 by new customers surveyed who saved with Progressive between June 2022 and May 2023. Potential savings will vary. There are two things that are absolutely true. Grandma loves you, and she would never say no to McDonald's. So treat yourself to a Grandma McFlurry with your order today. It's what Grandma would want. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. Previously on Days of Future Fuzz, Dan, Kent, and Balborg reached the GG Scrumptious Fast Casual Eatery, where fun is always on the menu, and put Panglo's remains and the goop in the mancaroni oven to cook. Meanwhile, Feltina is trying to get Professor Y to love the fuzz, and I'm sure Fuzzo and Mama Boob are also up to something. What is to be done by you? Listen to this, the new episode, episode 12, The Unbearable Fuzziness of Bertina Guernica. So, how long do we cook him for? I don't want him to end up a crispy critter. It's not like I do this all the time. Ah, my eye itches. Let me just use this knife to just... No, you'll... Ah, that's better. My eye is even better than before. Oh. Huh. I brought watermelon margaritas. A little salt, a little sweet. It's a frozen treat. Thanks, Gigi. Yeah, you're the best ghost I ever met. I met this one ghoulie down at the casino pier, which is a pier that had an arcade on it. Used to have a casino, but Mike on the zoning board hated casinos because his aunt got crushed by a slot machine. Jerry, Jerry, splat. <laughs> but the ghost was an old carny named Bart Beans. Used to run the Tilt-A-Whirl until one time he got drunk and tried to eat a whole hoagie. Tilt and Hurl, it should have been called that night. Hurled his insides out. So... His ghost was a real ornery cuss. I was just a beat cop then, meaning I'd beat people with my stick. Well, you can't beat a ghost, and as they say, if you can't beat them, join them. So, I joined some ghost clubs and we had some real adventures. Getting into trouble, getting out of trouble. I thought you said he was a jerk. Oh, sure, but he was still my best friend. Until he double died by touching that third rail. Rest in peace, you spooktacular dirtbag. Well, I'm just hoping this works so I can move on and see my son again in fast, casual heaven. They say there's a place you can go just for regular Joes when your heart gives out from ranch sauce overload. See every moment you live in walls of celestial kitsch where the service is nice, the menu infinite. And I say, if you want to spend eternity in a place with shakes and fries and Casual heaven And I ooh, feel no pain or loss As you sample the slider flights And I ooh, they've got every sauce So dip to your soul's delight And I ooh, yeah, you ought to try The onion ring of rings They fried for your sins They're great as an app for a side Sacrament chip ice cream So let's go To the place where you can eat your blessings And never worry about indigestion Where your order's ready in a second Because the waitstaff there is omnipresent Where my sins are finally forgiven Up where my boy's been waiting Never patient To see his papa again Fast casual heaven Casual heaven. Yeah, that's great and all, but 
These drinks aren't gonna free refill themselves. Do you see these spots on your arm? That's the blood pooling, caught in the lint. How about a few more Indian burns? You're going easy on me. I'm many things, but easy isn't one of them. Ask my wife. You're holding back because this isn't you. Not anymore. You know I'm right. I'm loyal to the Emperor, to the Fuzz. There's still time. We can do it together. We'll continue the extraction in the morning. There is good in you, in your fluff. I have to go! Brushy, it's time. Her tooth. I have been following your words, but I must ask. Yes, these are my real roots. Oh. But no, something else. I thought you were gone. I was going to leave this plane of existence, but then I thought, why not stick it to the fuzz one last time? Because they're jerks. Now, are you ready? I'm scared. There is no need to fear what you are. The Chosen One? No. Oh. But just because you are not meant for great things doesn't mean you can't do good things. Yeah. Sometimes not being chosen is being chosen, right? Like how getting picked last for kickball is really an honor. No, it means you suck at kickball. But this is different. Okay. I'm... I'm ready. the roof of the fortress. I can see for miles. It all seems so easy when you're above it, looking down on all of Fuzdom, throwing things off the roof of your fortress built using the harnessed energy of the Elder Fuzz itself. Oh, Fuzz. Look in the sky and see the starlight burning bright and know you're looking far, far back in time. The light is centuries old, it's just like time, you cannot hold it, but you adjust your fuzzoscope, time slipping from your grasp, looking forward is always looking back. Try to spy a reason, search for something to believe in, backwards we long to go, to feel a thing we barely know, backwards to find a place before the Though the further I go, the less sure I am Seems like the key to living is living till there's nothing left Is that why living feels like theft? The past at our heels stealing all our best Backwards, no place for me A waste for me, a trap Backwards, why wish to be When there's no going Do you think we'd be happy? 
is activating. Oh. Something is tingling in my lobule. Do you want me to massage it, your boobness? No, Adviso, and stop asking. It's gross. My apologies. Something big is happening, but I'm not sure what. What should we do? I must pray and await the Elder Fuzz's guidance. Good. I shall go to the Emperor. He's so upset he's on the roof throwing things off of it. <sighs> that does calm him. Yes. Yes. I hope we have the strength to see through what must be done. The boob! is the strongest muscle on the body, and I am all boob. So I am strength. I have one love, the fuzz. Nothing You were will... unable to kill Brushy. What do you know of it, you fuzzy worm? I know what it is to suffer, to sacrifice. I was on public television. Now go leave me to my prayers. I'm all... Hey, darling. Sorry, I nodded off in the chair. What time is it? Late. Early day again tomorrow? Yes. How was work? Ugh. Barry got honey all over his fuzz top again. Don't know how. He doesn't even eat honey, but... (laughs) Sticky paws. (laughs) What if... Mm. What if... You were working on a program, and you thought it did this one thing, but when it's up and running, it is doing something different. Like a pause type miscued as an int type? Yeah, I don't know what any of that means. What are you saying? Nothing. I'm just tired. Let's enjoy this. Us. All of the world just stay away for a few hours. Are you sure it's... Claro. Things are... Let's go to bed. There are two things that are absolutely true. Grandma loves you, and she would never say no to McDonald's. So treat yourself to a Grandma McFlurry with your order today. It's what Grandma would want. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. At participating McDonald's for a limited time. This episode is brought to you by Heineken Silver. When you discover something you love, like a new podcast or beer, you have to tell everyone about it. So when you try new Heineken Silver, a world-class light beer with only 2.9 carbs and 95 calories, you'll want to tell the world how great it is. New Heineken Silver, the world-class light beer with all the taste, no bitter endings. Available at your local Heineken retailer or for delivery at heineken.com slash silver. Must be 21 plus to purchase. Enjoy Heineken responsibly. What is it, my liege? Not enjoying throwing things off the castle? No. When I powered Fuzzopolis by connecting yarn wires to the Elder Fuzz, I created free energy. I was a hero. For a moment. Over you go, Fuzzboard. <clears throat> but there are still the unfuzz lands like New Jersey and parts of Russia and that whole East Africa mess. You do far too much... Why not invest the head of the upper parliament with more power? You need to narrow your focus. But aren't you the head of the upper parliament? Over the side you go, Fluffins. (coughs) Indeed. And who better to help take some of the yarn? I have been watching you all these years and learned much from you. I am stressed. 
Well, here then. Just sign these documents. How lucky and random I put them in my pouch. <laughs> hmm. There. Damn. I'm out of things to throw and I'm still all jangly. Oh, would you like to throw me off the castle, sire? You, Adviso? Sure. My soft stuffing would render me immune to gravity's cruelties. I'd land with a delightful thump. It's worth a shot. Over you go. <clears throat> ah! on my signing pen. That was surprisingly very painful. Twas painful for all of us in our own way. Actually, for me, in a very specific way. Oh, my butt stuffing. Indeed. Because we are all but stuffing, Adviso. You are profound. Oh. Thank you, sire. <sighs> not working. That mancaroni oven has been cooking the goop for ages. Pangla was torn up pretty good, but oh well. We tried. Guess the world is doomed. Sorry, ghosty. Hey now. A good resurrection is like a good stew. It takes time. And bones. And a carrot. That's it! A carrot! I don't think we need a carrot. Here, a 24 carat golden carrot. It was presented to me at the great carrot cook-off. We took first place for our pan-fried cheese carrots and deep-fried sauce. Do you have anything on the menu under a thousand calories? The tap water only has a bit of butter in it. Anyway, carrot in the oven. Nothing. I'll try to contact Professor Y again. The communicator hasn't been- Wait, what about that? Indeed, the oven is glowing. Oh, yeah, that, but I meant that painting of a horse boxing a man. Yes, that painting celebrates when famed racehorse Seabiscuit fought famed boxer Land Biscuit not far from here. They called it the Bake Off in Wyckoff. Uh, many were arrested because it was very illegal. In fact, they even made an illegal musical recording of the fight on endangered weasel skin. I have the skin record right here on the bric-a-brac wall. Yeah, Let me play it. That's not necessary. It's playing. It's finally happening. Right here in New Jersey. The greatest question. There's been that versus horse who would win settled tonight in the ring. Celebrities fill the stands. F. Scott on their hot dance. Jokes with a stare. Some say the Truman is there, but he's disguised as a bear. Why? This is the fight of the century. You see, you just had to be there. This is the fight of the century. Oh no, nothing will ever compare to the fight of the century. To the fight of the century. Oh. The movie's grown. An oak tree and wind rise with the sea shine. The lights are dim, you can hear a pin as the moment brothers hangs in the air. A spotlight glares, man and horse are there. When did they enter the ring? The crowd explodes as the bell begins to sing. Round one. Sea biscuit lands a hoof. Land biscuit shakes it off. There they stand proud and bright to the crowd's great delight, trading left, trading right. But then the lights slam on. Police have stormed the hall. They try to stop the match. That's when the crowd attacks. The night erupts in a brawl. Wow! This is the fight of the century. Men punch horse and horse punch man. This is the fight of the century. Cops getting hit.
That song made me want biscuits. Shut up! Look! The oven! It's glowing green, and now something's coming out of it. I hope it's biscuits. You can call me biscuits if you want to. Panglo! It's you! But you look kind of different. I have a full set of teeth! See? Whoa! A-plus chompers. Also, it's Pangla now. I'm a woman. Oh, uh, cause of the oven? Or... No, it's something I felt for a long time. But coming back from the dead, I realized I shouldn't hide who I am. Well, good for you, Pangla. I'm Valborg, by the way. Here's a pamphlet Professor Y made to explain everything. And another one I made of our journey here, so I don't have to explain anything that happened previously. Wow, pamphlets? Nido mojito! Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'm all caught up. Anyway, I guess I do appear strange. I am the unity of tooth and fuzz. I realize now, I am the chosen one, born of Brushworth Brushwell Sunshine and Helena Toots McMenamin. Who? Remember? The whole prophecy and the fuzz and turning orphans into puppets, the surrogate, the sanitarium? Seventeen injections? Everybody get fussed tonight? Uh, yeah. I remember all of that. Sure. The curse is lifted. Now I go. (laughs) Goodbye, weird ghost I never got to know. Off to fast, casual heaven. Or hell, because he helped fuel the obesity epidemic and caused the premature death of many via gravy and deep frying. I like you, because you said gravy. That sounds like navy. My 18th favorite kind of blue. In any event, I am the chosen one, brought back to heal the world. Died and resurrected. Hey, just like that famous guy, Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman never came back from the dead. Who's being naive now? Man, he was hilarious. I'm a big cough head. Anyway, Pangla, how do we heal the world from the fuzz? I must broadcast my message to the world! The old gabin blab? Hmm. But there ain't nothing nearby that can help us. Definitely. Nothing to help us. Nothing. No way. Absolutely nothing nearby here that can help us. I know a place that can help. It's nearby. The matriarch? Call me Sandra. But, Sandra, how'd you find us? First, you told me where you were going. Second, this place is right across the street from the rotunda. You can see the first ladies right out the window. See them waving? Anyway, I'm bored. Do you want my help or not? Panglo's back, and now she's Pangla? And the matriarch's name is Sandra? What's going on with Brushy? What's Mama Boob sensing? Is Fuzzo going to stay on the roof? What's going to happen? Find out next time on Days of Future Fuzz, Episode 13, Goddard Dad Kenterung. Fall of the House of Sunshine is a Roy Gold production. It was written by Jonathan Goldberg with music by Matt Roy Berger. Find out more about the show and cast at podmusical.com. Follow us on Twitter and participate in this week's Tweet Your Own Adventure. Tweet your choices and lead our hero, you, to one of 17 possible deaths. Thanks for listening and have a suntabulous bicuspid of a day. The Fall of the House of Sunshine is part of Fate Crafters Studios. Find other great shows at FateCrafters.com. Lyman Keys here with another After the Episode recommendation from the Fate Crafters Studios Network, FateCrafters.com, for all your amazing podcast needs. But only podcast needs. If you need something else like eggs or milk, I suggest going to the store, uh, because that's what you do. Uh, Today, I'd like to talk about Aftershocks. It's a wonderfully uh, suspenseful, uh, scary new podcast. Uh, Well, new-ish when I'm recording this and probably less new when you're listening because, as you know, the whole way time works. But anyway, Aftershocks. It all started when Riley was institutionalized suffering a psychotic episode. After being treated, she's moved to Amber Ridge, where she meets Ryan and Eli, fellow patients. Together, the three of them stumble upon the dark secrets of the institution. Ghosts, 
history, friendship, so much more. You should listen to it uh, right after this. Go uh, click on whatever you click on with your uh, computery things. It's uh, it's a really interesting, smart, well done tale. Uh, hopefully, uh, you're not scared of hospitals. Uh, but you'll be scared uh, appropriately by this show, Aftershocks at Fate Crafters. I went to the hospital once to have my appendix out. It wasn't very spooky. It was just very painful. But I got to eat uh, some jello. Uh, they had red and green. They didn't specify what the flavors were. They just said red and green. I said, well, what is green? And they just said, shut up and eat it. Uh, because, I don't know, I must have... Uh, not gotten the most friendly nurse but if you're looking for something awesome and amazing that's not an unfriendly nurse giving you jello of only two colors try aftershocks you can find it wherever you catch your podcast or at fatecrafters.com where you can discover a whole range of other wonderful podcasts this is lyman keys recommending aftershocks and now I'm shocked that you're not listening to it now. But that'd be weird in a way because you'd be listening to this also. And you'd have the two kind of things going on at once. And it'd probably be hard to concentrate on either one. But anyway, subscribe to Aftershocks. Listen to that. Then listen to this one again. Why not? Have a great time. Enjoy yourself. Lyman Keys saying, uh, subscribe now. Good one, Lyman. Yes. The Fable and Folly Network where fiction producers flourish.